Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's talk about some of the major volcanoes on the planet Venus. Now when we look at pictures of those volcanoes, and first of all we need to understand how those pictures were formed, essentially those pictures are formed through computer imaging. So what we have here is we have a satellite which is in orbit around the planet taking radar images from the surface. Of course that takes a long time, a lot of uh, a lot of orbits around the planet to slowly over time map the entire planet like that and then they take all those images they put those in a computer program and then they simulate as if you fly over the surface and you look on the surface from a low elevation that, that was of course never done there were no planes or satellites flying at this elevation but through computer uh, enhancement and the computer imaging we're able to turn this kind of image into this kind of image giving the feel and sensation that you're flying over the surface looking at the terrain in front of you so the simulation here is that you're about one kilometer about 0.6 miles above the surface looking in the distance seeing this mountain this is a picture a radar picture of Mat Mons and it's one of the taller mountains on the surface of the planet now we do get a slightly uh, wrong perspective of what the mountains actually look like because these are what we call very large shield volcanoes. Now a shield volcano looks a lot more like this. The elevation in, in height, the height here, relative to the overall size of the base of the mountain, is the, that ratio is very different from what you see here. Here the elevation has been enhanced about 25 times to give you that feel of what a mountain would look like, but essentially if you were to look at the mountain it would look a lot more like this. So they're called large shield volcanoes and they're created by having a spot in the where the crust is relatively weak as lava flows through that that weak spot in the crust it keeps on erupting over time probably thousands if not millions of years and since there's no tectonic plate movement there's no plate tectonic plates like on the earth there's no tectonic plate movement those weak portions in the crust remain in the same spot and so they keep on erupting in the same location over and over and over again building up the size of the mountain to enormous sizes so even though the mountains look relatively flat from a distance like this to get a better feel for the mountain we of course increase or exaggerated the vertical size of the mountain to make it look a little bit more pleasing to the site also notice there's an enormous number of lava fields around these mountains and we'll see that over vast areas of the planet there are indeed indications that there's huge lava fields of the, where lava flowed over thousands and thousands of kilometers across the surface and we'll take a look at that in a little bit more detail as well. So now let's take a look at some of these major mountains on the surface of the planet. There we go. So we have what we call Sifmons and Gulamons. Both of those mountains are relatively close. Sometimes you see pictures of both of them in the same picture. Of course, again, we didn't take those pictures from that elevation. These are just simply computer images of what it would look like if you were to fly over the surface. Both of those are in the Estla Regio. And notice that the height of this one is two kilometers, this one is three kilometers. In feet, that would be roughly six, seven thousand feet, about ten thousand feet. So they're not necessarily that tall, but notice the size of the base 300 and 400 kilometers across. 400 kilometers is about 250 miles. So we're talking about enormous sized mountains. So the base of these mountains are very, very large. We also have a mountain called Sapas Mons, which is in the Atla region. It's about one and a half kilometers tall, 120 kilometers across. That's about 75 miles across. We have Ushas Mons, two kilometers tall, 500 kilometers across. That's 300 miles. We have Theia Mons, four kilometers high and 800 kilometers across. That's 500 miles. That's about the size of the state of Montana, one single mountain. Imagine the size of these volcanoes. We have Mat Mons, the picture that we just showed you. That's a very tall mountain, eight kilometers high. That's about five miles. Five miles is 25,000 feet. So we're talking about an enormous height and 400 kilometers across, which is about 250 miles in the Atla region. And then of course, the mountain that's the tallest mountain region on the planet Venus, Maxwell Mons with a height of 11 kilometers, which is about six and a half miles. Six and a half miles, I would put you somewhere around 35,000 feet or so. 
800 kilometers across, 500 miles across, huge mountain range at the Ishtar Terra region. That's that northern region that looks like a large landmass. On one of those peaks, Gadis Mon, so it's one of the peaks in the mountain range, is indeed the tallest mountain. And at the top of the mountain, there's a caldera, 28 kilometers by 31 kilometers, which is about 20 miles by 20 miles, a huge top caldera, which is where the lava used to come out when the mountain was active. So we're talking about some very, very large mountains, but particularly in size this way, not as much in height. Some of these mountains are relatively small in height, huge in area, except there's a few exceptions, Mount Mons and Maxwell Mons, of course. Those are the giants of the planet. So again, that gives you a feel that these volcanoes, they're very large, they're what we call shield volcanoes. They dot all over the surface, but those very big ones are just absolutely enormous in size.